Thomas Mensah, who's a Ghanaian American inventor and chemical engineer who is well known in his field and he has contributed to the development of fiber optic manufacturing and nanotechnology. He has 14 patents and was inducted into the US National Academy of Inventors in 2015. He has done so much, accomplished so much and people look up to him. He said something that is quite interesting in a recent interview. He was asked, why is the curriculum of Ghana focused on theory rather than practice and invention? This is what he said. Now the uh, um, National Science and Mass Quiz, yeah. uh, Quiz Master, yeah. is talking about the fact that they are only teaching students theory in this country. Yes. Is it true? That's true. And that's why I'm bringing Silicon Valley to Ghana. But how did you make it? Because you also went through Adisadel, you went to Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, and you were taught the same theory. Yeah, but if I all I had was theory, that's it. That won't go nowhere. Wow. Tell me more. That won't go nowhere. Mm. We will never reach a stage in Ghana where a child can say, I'm going to build these cameras. Mm. That's practical. Mm. That's mm. really practical. Mm. So they got to be thinking along there. Why is our educational system so theoretical rather than practical? That's what the British did to us mm. 100 years ago. Mm. They say, all right, we're going to set schools over there. Mm. All the schools in Ghana, mm. all the way to universities, mm. theory. Mm. Teach them theory. Don't show them because we sell them technology. Mm. Don't teach them how to build cars. Don't teach them how to build the internet, smartphones. Tell them how theory. And we are, we are very good. He said the British did this to them. They introduced the curriculum of theory on purpose so that our students, African students, can just focus on learning about what others are doing or the basics, just the theory, and it never pushes them to experience themselves, to experiment and to invent for themselves. It just teaches them to be an obedient employee or someone that just knows theory but knows nothing about the experiments and the invention, which is basically robbing people of their future and their skills. They could have invented so much, but that is not happening because the British designed it that way. I'm glad he's exposing this, but I also want to see this man in a place that he can contribute to the society, make him a minister of education, give him a role that will help others because he knows what he's talking about. He has the experience, he has the education, he is in the best position to help African countries and governments implement a good education system. So this was a quite interesting interview and I am glad that he is speaking out and telling the truth. Anyways fam, what are your thoughts on this? I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.